Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, Ugh. there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. <laughs> They sought the help of their friends in the forest. They found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> should play compass and north star in the woods be sure to wear your hat then <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat <laughs> all right who wants ice cream me eat up without a word she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood and that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title i don't like that story there were no goblins and it was depressing we won't read it again i love you mom <coughs> not me <laughs> just kidding love you mom i love you too something weird is going on for sure Sleep well and dream, my doves. Should we have the ice cream though? <laughs> the heck? What a waste. Ew. <laughs> Gross. Allison! Ollie! Allison, help! I killed mom. I 
kilter. Hmm. This is so weird. Oh god. Closing a chapter of our lives, you know? But instead, we spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. Mind numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh. Can't we just have coffee instead? No. <laughs> On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. the heck? Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the Mac. I got a trash that's in the uh, long story. Hmm. 
we don't really want to keep anything in here, right? I mean, we kind of sad to leave all these pictures, I mean, I guess. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Maybe someone could clean it up? It's well made. User entered your channel. Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Say ah. Uh. Uh. I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. <laughs> yeah. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. You're doing a great job. Uh, thanks. <laughs> hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. We could make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? What's that smell? You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. Ugh, why'd you have to remind me of that? I don't know how you ate that stuff. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Gross. Mm -mm. No good. <laughs> Ugh, what's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. <laughs> you pull the sticker off. That's funny. Allison. What to do with this? Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Uh, I guess that was probably me. I cut him off, by the way. Oops. <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch, too. Oh, you're quite right, love. Ugh, she can have my corn. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry, too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does. Yes. 
I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah. Still deciding what to do with them. I think they're happy memories. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... <laughs> but... Do you remember how I'd spend hours in front of the mirror just gathering all my hair behind my head? Sure. Dressed like this, with the long hair, it was like no one could really see me, you know? I was the invisible boy. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. They remind us how far we've come. Um, the game break because I can't do anything. I think the game broke. Hold on. Love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? I don't know. your fish. It's not my <laughs> fish anymore. Allison stole it. What do you mean Allison stole it? My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. <laughs> well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. <laughs> Hello, you gonna clean off the coffee table? Teddy now. Take your time. He's not gonna jump up and do the cha-cha. <laughs> what about me? I wanna clean the fish too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. <laughs> Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison. That's unfair. Yes. <laughs> You're right. I was kind of being brat. <laughs> All right. I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. Are you gonna keep doing that? <laughs> I really like that armchair. It'll look sharp next to your tree stump nightstand. I'll be the most stylish mountain man ever. But I was actually thinking it should go in your library. Library? We may not even have a living room. <laughs> I have faith in you. <laughs> Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? And finally, 
I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into <laughs> the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Actually, this couch is really pretty. I mean, how often do you find a couch with freaking fairies on it? It's kind of sad, honestly. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Earl Grey or Chai? Your call. I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine's still in there. You're what now? You're what now? You know, my blue toy horse. With the kind of melted face. The one you stole from me. What? That never happened. Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then when I tried to get it back, you said there was a snake inside too. <laughs> Whatever you say, horse face. We have the same face. Punishment, said the Ice King. You shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? <laughs> I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go What's wash that your hands. Stiff thing she just did. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course not. That was weird. I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Her binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Yeah, what the heck, man? Yeah, I guess it's over here. Where's the kitchen drawer? Hey, Allison. Let's look at our drawings. Allison's first drafts. Right. Yeah. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. <laughs> I can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum. And she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone. But with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? I have no idea what you're doing. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. Oh. Good one. Too bad the law isn't really just. Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. The 
the bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. <laughs> I mean, he was kind of always there, lurking. You go here. So you, I guess. You done? All right, I think I'm done. You sure? Not really. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably. Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? You better hurry, or the Oops. Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way! I skipped that. <gasps> what's, okay. What's going on? I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! Yeah, what the hell is this all about? Like... It's like, what the heck? I forgot about that. We've been pretending he was there. And then... Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? <laughs> Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Great. Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That yeah. was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh... I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh... Well, I, uh... Anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh... I did some reading. <laughs> I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know, never been much of a reader. Huh? But... I think I get why what I said was wrong. I'm real sorry. Oh, this is being nice about it. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. <laughs> Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. Fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. <laughs> Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. I think you did that. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. <laughs> Weird. All right. Um, I think that's it for this episode. <laughs> I have a headache, so I think I'm done for today. All right. Bye.